doing more than social media socialites. Um, it is Tuesday morning and um, we are getting ready for the tropical storm Dorian. Dorian is coming. Hurricane Dorian is coming. This is Channel's Television's Breaking News. Tropical storm Dorian is barreling toward the Caribbean this morning. It could hit Barbados tomorrow and Puerto Rico by late Wednesday. A tropical storm watch has been issued in the Caribbean. Tropical storm Dorian is moving west. The National Hurricane Center says it could reach hurricane strength by Tuesday. Good evening, and it's great to start another week with all of you at home. And we do begin tonight with that tropical storm Dorian gaining strength in the Atlantic. It could become a hurricane as early as tomorrow. Puerto Rico's governor has declared a state of emergency as tropical storm Dorian approaches the island. Residents rush to stores for supplies to prepare for power outages and heavy rains. The National Hurricane Center issued a hurricane watch for Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Hurricane Dorian or Tropical Storm Dorian is what everybody has been talking about. Um, I, I almost panicked, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I um, am in a group of about 60 other expats and um, I was saying, you know, maybe we should, I should, I should um, go to Santiago because Santiago is landlocked. Um, I'm definitely not going to go to Santo Domingo because Santo Domingo is on the direct south side of the island. And here in Cabarete, um, I'm on the north side and Puerto Plata is the north side. Most of my friends that live here live in the Puerto Plata area. Um, so the thing that I was the most concerned about was storm surge. See, let me show you guys why. See, I'm laying in my bed right now. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can hear but there's the water right there. There's an ocean right there. I don't know if you guys can hear or see that. So, so that's the reason why I was concerned about storm surge because um, I'm on the, literally on the water. I am literally on the water. But um, after doing more research and, and calming down, I realized that um, there has not been a real storm to hit this side of the mountain since um 1986 i believe i think 1986 um but i'm still going to be prepared because they say it's going to hit directly on the um, dominican republic but one good thing they did say is that because of the mountains of the dominican republic um we should be protected which is why i i, I love the dr one of the reasons why i chose this island to live and build a house on i want to build um on the beach and then as the storm makes its way over the Dominican Republic right there, the further west it tracks in that cone, the worse for the storm, the better for us that it is. And that's because the mountains of the Dominican Republic really shred storms. But nevertheless, I'm actually um, headed to the um, Supermercado. I need to um, get some shopping done because um, Puerto Rico, they ain't playing no games. You hear me? Puerto Rico is ready. They got stuff stocked. And so what I decide that I'm going to do um, is I'm going to head to the grocery store myself and get like the very essentials. Like when I was in Atlanta, we used to have tornadoes and we would freak out with the weather. You know what I'm saying? Like people from up north, they say all the time, like y'all in Atlanta, y'all can't handle nothing. Like the, the rain comes and y'all freak out. <laughs> <laughs> like one drop of snow coming, y'all freak out. That's true. That is true. It's an Atlanta thing. It truly is an Atlanta thing as I think about it because I was freaking out in the group chat. I was the only one that was freaking out. But you know, I'm not going to be motivated by fear. I'm going to be motivated by faith and I feel good. My spirit feels good. My spirit tells me that I'm good. I'm comfortable. And I live in an affluent side of town. So meaning that I have generators. I don't have to worry about generators because we have generators. Um, and I'm on the fourth floor. My condo is on the fourth floor and my condo is huge. There's parts of my condo I haven't even showed you guys that are very well protected. Um, as well as everything is made out of concrete, which is dope. I love everything that's made out of stone and made out of concrete. And so I was doing a lot of research. Um, one of my homeboys said that um, last time there was a storm, they were in a villa. They just opened up the windows open up the front windows and the back windows and let the wind just blow through. That's one cool thing about being in the North Shore. But so um, 
I talked to another one of my homeboys. He said that he did go to Santiago and there was more flooding in Santiago than it was out here because of the, um, the rain, because of the... Uh because of the rain. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, that's actually my, my processor calling. We just got somebody approved for 300000 in funding. So I actually, I need to call her back. And next time I see you guys, I'm actually going to be in the, in the supermarket. So one of the biggest things I was concerned about, guys, oh, it sounds so amazing, right? Was the storm surging. That was the thing that made me the most nervous is a storm surge. Power. I'm not standing outside because I can't, and I won't, because it is just too dangerous. We have seen debris flying, pieces of homes, um, certainly huge. You can hear it. I mean, just take a listen to that, that incredible roar. I am constantly trying to keep the cool. We are in a cement building. We are in the safest place we can possibly be at this point. We're not going to be the only ones dealing with hurricane force winds. We ride out Michael's direct hit on the second floor of a cement condo in Mexico Beach. And there goes more. I don't know if you're hearing the crashing. Yeah. Large chunks of debris seen flying by. I think at this point we're going to start to wrap up. We retreat further inside. Look, we've had to step away from the door because debris is flying so close to our hotel. That you see that right there. It looks so much like the, the, the hurricane I always describe to people, and that is a washing machine. You have all of this water, you have all of this wind, and you can't see anything. Just 20 minutes ago, I was able to see the homes right across. I have no idea if they are there still. I just saw something I have never seen in real life. I saw an entire home taken off of its foundation and rolled down the street. That is the type of storm surge we're talking about right here in Mexico City at this moment. You can't see it, but we could just start to make out, and I saw the roof on its side um, rolling down the street. My heart is racing. I, again, I have never seen something like a, an entire home, a well-built home, rolling down the street. We just watched that happen in real time. And I'll tell you right now, it makes you shake. We see firsthand that storm surge can be the most dangerous part of the storm. That is where the house used to be. Finally, we're ready to head outside again. So we rode out Hurricane Michael in an interior space that was safe, but now is the first time that it's safe to come out here. And I have to tell you, the home that I saw floating away, be standing there, it is no longer. That blue house that was across from us is no longer there. Simply gone. But as I look, I'm four floors up. The locals don't seem to be too concerned. They out there fishing now. And the, to be honest, the tide doesn't seem too, too high. The tide doesn't seem too, too high. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna allow fear to motivate me. I ain't gonna be foolish. Don't get me wrong by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not gonna be foolish by any stretch of the imagination. I'm not gonna be foolish at all. But, um, yeah, I'm just about to go and prepare. I'm just about to go and prepare and get all the stuff that I need to get prepared for the hurricane. And Jehovah God is my source and, and we good. I look at how tall I am to the trees. So I've been doing my research, man. I've been doing my research. what you think about the hurricane? Oh, okay. ah, yeah, yeah, Bob, Bob. You think it's gonna come? Oh, when it's gonna come, you think it's gonna be, you said just a little rain? That's it? So you don't think it's going to be nothing too major? Mm -hmm. Nothing too crazy? Not too crazy, man. Okay. All right. So, man, I'm just I'm just overreacting. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day out today. Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful day. So today, um, on, we need to go by, we got to go by the computer store so I can get an extra charger. Okay. Uh, we need to go by CPS. Yeah. And we need to go by um, Super Polar. 
Yeah, so we could get some grocery shopping and everything done. Yeah. But so you think it's just so, it's not being no problema. Tranquilo. Yes, rain. Yeah. Solamente rain. No, no big water, no, no big rain. Okay. All right, we gonna see. Hopefully so, hopefully you're right. Hopefully you're right. <laughs> hopefully, I, I trust my need though, so. You live to the beach, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I live right by the beach, so we'll see what happens. But it's it's cool though. I don't think the water's gonna raise up. I was afraid that the water was gonna raise up, but um, after looking at videos and it's only a it's only a category one hurricane, so it's it's just a lot of rain, a lot of rain, not not a lot of flooding. Okay, all right, cool. <laughs> a few people here but um um <laughs> the locals seem like it's just a it's just a regular day <laughs> the locals seem like it's just a regular day in the neighborhood They just seem like it's just gonna be some rain and it's not gonna be anything too crazy. So that's a good sign, I guess. Because if they if they thought that it would be something crazy going on, then that'd be something I think to worry about. But they don't think it's anything crazy going on, so that's cool. But I'm still gonna get <sighs> a lot of stuff to like, I'm gonna get you some more peanut butter. Uh, what's this, a peanut butter with honey in it? Yeah, I'm gonna get this honey. Let's see. Y'all remember this? I saw this when I got back here. Honey roasted peanut butter. Get some of that. This one, bro. This one brother just walked up to me and said, You getting ready for the storm? I'm like, Yes, sir. <laughs> it's good to see other folks getting ready for the storm. I'm not the only one tripping. I'm glad to know I'm not the only one tripping. And I'm not necessarily tripping, but you know, I'm glad I'm not the only one getting ready. I put it like that. I'm just making sure I got a little stuff that I need. <laughs> I got me some waters, got me some snacks, a couple milk, some juices, some juices, a couple loaves of bread. So I got this. <laughs> you know, I'm just making sure. But so far it seems pretty calm though. This is um, not the Super Jumbo, this is the Super Polar. That's um, close, that's in between Sasua and Cabarete. This store better than the one that's in Cabarete. They have a lot more options. They have a lot more options here than they do in Cabarete. It's not as, um, the one in Cabarete is right by my house, but they don't have a lot of the same things and I just wanted to come out. And also I needed to make sure I got my charge and I did, I got my extra cell phone charger, so. Be good to go so I have a couple consultations to do for the rest of the day and then I'm just gonna go and get ready to batten down the hatches that's it so I have two consultations today um, we had three hundred thousand dollar loan they got approved I have two consultations today and there's a new project that I'm coming out with that I'm working on and we have some
programming that I have to do with our team for that. So that's what the rest of my day looked like. I'll see you guys towards the end of the day today. Yes, that's what everyone is saying. Yeah. Because of the mountains, we, we should be safe. Yeah. They said we should be fine. Especially if you're in South Yeah, well, I'm in Cabarete. So, I'm closer to the water. Yeah. yeah. Can I, now, use your customer card. Oh, sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. See, that fair save any money? Did I save anything? Like you know, well, you got some points, but I didn't save anything. <laughs> Tide still seems low. It's a beautiful, romantic night out tonight. <laughs> I don't see not one drop of rain. <laughs> 